All right. So I'm sure we've all come across a so-called meme once before, right? Whether it be a video a friend sends in a group chat, or a picture of a duck your sibling shows you as you're chowing down on those expired Fruit Loops, or that one coworker that's always bothering you in the middle of your job while you're sipping on a coffee by shoving his phone in your face, showing you all these strange images of Marvel memes. We've all seen some form of meme. But what does it mean? What is a meme? Today, I'm gonna share with you my research, my theories, and my overall analysis of the internet's greatest invention, memes. Alright, so according to Wikipedia, a meme is an idea, behavior, or style that spreads by means of imitation from person to person within a culture and often carries symbolic meaning representing a particular phenomenon or theme. However, in internet terms, it's an idea, behavior, or style that is spread via the internet, often through social media platforms and especially for humorous purposes. Or, if that wasn't enough for you, in dumbass terms, it's basically just random things online created for comedy, they don't really have a deep meaning, or at least we thought. Let's talk about the world's first meme. Where did it come from? Let's find out. So our journey starts in ancient Mesopotamia, 3300 BC, where the Sumerians had just invented writing. They have used the method of carving symbols, or letters, into clay tablets to write, and then baked those tablets in an oven to harden them. According to an article on WordPress, the first joke, I know I said joke, just hang on a little while, I, I'm gonna explain, was written around 1900 BC by the Sumerians. It was a fart joke that went something like, something which has never occurred since time immemorial, a woman did not fart in her husband's lap. This also proved that society was always gross and that we have been immature for thousands of years with their shit and fart jokes. It's to my belief this became a common joke in Mesopotamia and according to the meme's original definition, an idea, behavior, or style that spreads by means of imitation from person to person within a culture and often carries symbolic meaning re representing a particular phenomenon or theme, I think this counts as, well, a meme. After that, a sex joke developed in Egypt, 1600 BC, along with a livestock Sumerian joke in 1200 BC. The term meme was first cited in a book called The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins. It brought to life the theory of everyday things as genes striving to survive and being imitated over and over again. He mentions how all genes want to be copied and want to have the most of themselves. They're copied over and over and oppress other genes that have different attributes and instructions to increase their chances of survival and replication. He also explains that genes change over time, and though they want to replicate, they must also find a mate and make an offspring with inherited attributes from both parents. This is the concept of imitation, something that was reinterpreted, or imitated, and also mixed. Things that apply to the process of selfish genes were given the name memes, since it sounds like genes. Richard used genes as an analogy for real life. Every day, new concepts are made from previous ones, and they strive to be the best of them. Every day, genes, or things of certain attributes, attempt to overpower that of other attributes. Why do you think there's always an odd one out, rather than an odd one in? Richard's theory of selfishness explains racism, exclusion, bullying, all kinds of worldly problems. Genes are worried that they'll be overpowered, so they oppress others who appear powerless. People become jealous of others, so they tease them and hurt them in an attempt to remain on top. We have to look at internet memes as if they were living things rather than pictures. These memes are oppressive, follow evolution, and replicate. Don't you see? They started as a simple fart joke by someone in Mesopotamia, and eventually spread countrywide. A neighboring country probably heard the joke and decided to make one for themselves. The same process spread worldwide, some became more popular than others, and that's how we know them today. Soon written jokes evolved into stories, and those stories evolved into plays, and those plays turned into imagery, and then along came videotaping in 1878 where comedies began. And then social media was created in 1997 where people took imagery with text and clips from movies and posted them on that social media, and repurposed them over and over and over again. And then, those popular comedic clips and images inspired other clips and images, and a lot of those images are used again and again with different texts and jokes. 
oppressing others who are being used less in an attempt to become the most popular or powerful gene. In this case, what are now internet memes were once jokes in an ancient city who used our humor to evolve, oppress, and replicate. Memes thrive off of our use for them. Why do you think dead memes exist? They're memes that have been oppressed by others, like how Among Us oppressed Fall Guys. Why do you think there are so many variations of the Doge meme? Imitation and replication. Why do you think there's such thing as a Ugandan Knuckles? Because it evolved from the game character. It's all because of Richard Dawkins' theory for selfish genes. And that, my friends, is the right and true definition of the internet meme. Fully defined, fully recognized, fully discovered. Now when your sibling shows you that duck meme, you can remember why it truly exists, and why it has such an impact on this world. This picture of a fat ass duck has quite the history. All right, let's do this. All right, come on. Show me the meme. Show me the meme. Yes. 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 Come on, no, pull it up. Pull it up. Yes. 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 Yes.